So I've just opened the app and I'm in the interface. Along the bottom, we have our quad. Now this is where we're going to do our mapping and insert content. So if I just click the plus, you'll see I get a square with a black interface inside of it. Now I can move the corners around this and I can shape it to a certain degree. So let's just pull that up there. Let's have a look what else we have. We also have a triangle, just pop that there. And we have a hexagon and I'll just pop that over here. And again, you see, I can move the center points and I can move the sides. Now I've got snapping on, which means it's the quad snap to another quad. So I'm just gonna reset that up. There we go. And we also have a circle. And again, I can do um, lots of effects. And then we have another square, but look at this, it has more anchor points. So I can shape this a little bit more than I can the regular square quad. Now that's quite useful if I have a slightly obscure shape that I want to map around. So it really is as simple as that when it comes to adding quads in Dynamapper. The fun bit is when you start adding content, whether it be your content or pre-made content for the app. It gets super complex, super fun, and I think you're really going to love it. Guys, I'll see you in the next session where we're going to start looking at content.